Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. Today Google released Android Canary 2601 that I have here on my Pixel 8 Pro to show you all the new changes. So without further ado, let's jump in. Let's start with the update size and build number here on the 8 Pro. It's ZP11.251.212.007 and the update size is 674 megabytes. And now let's take a look at the new features. Let's start with the lock screen and here I spotted only one new change. On the right I have QPR3 beta 1.1 for reference and you'll notice here that the margin at the top is now smaller which makes all the items slightly pushed towards the top. Moving to the home screen the widgets resizing handles got redesigned and now the border is using a different color from the handles to make them stand out when you compare this to the previous version, all of them used to have the same exact color, plus the border is now darker to make it easier to see. And when you take a look here, the unfunctional handle now disappears if you have the widget on the side. So let me move it to the other side. And as you see, now the right handle is gone and it only appears when it's functional while previously the four handles always appear either way. The second change under the home screen is the comeback of a feature that we used to have a long time ago. Now when you type the app name in the system-wide search, the closest match gets highlighted. You can see the full app name over here with the word open next to it. Once you tap on the return key, it opens the app and that makes the one-handed use slightly easier. Moving to the wallpaper and the style app, when you go to the effects page, now you will see a slightly different animation. So let me show you both side by side. You will notice here that the container around the animated shapes is now gone and you can see only the shape in Android Canary. Now let me show you the new changes under the quick settings and the first one is related to the brightness slider. If you have it near the maximum brightness, this is how the new icon looks and here is the previous one we used to have. It's not only bigger but it looks different as well and if you have a lower brightness, the half a circle inside the icon is now on the opposite side. The second change is in the flashlight overlay. When you tap and hold on it to adjust the brightness, you will see a more prominent line at the top. Before jumping to the next chapter, if you like my wallpapers, let me show you the latest wallpapers added to the collection in the wallpapers by in-depth thick reviews app. I added more than 90 new wallpapers recently and all of them look impressive. If you are interested, you will find the app download link in the description. And now let's get back to Android Canary 2601. Now let's talk about all the new changes under settings. And the first one is the smaller menu items. So for example, when you go to the modes page on both versions, you will see that the menu is now shorter in Android Canary because the padding inside the containers is now smaller. And the same applies to all other menus. So for example, when you go to display and touch, you can see more items on the screen without scrolling. The second change is under the display and touch menu. When you go to the screen resolution, you will see a new animation here at the top to explain the difference between the two and instead of the static image that we used to have. When you switch to the high resolution mode, it will show you a pixelated image to let you know that this mode has a lower resolution than the maximum resolution one. And when you go to the system page, you will see a totally different design. All the items are now categorized in Android Canary and instead of having one stack for everything, not only this, but the software updates is now showing at the top and the circle to search toggle is now showing on the front page instead of having it under the navigation mode. Now let's talk about my experience with this build while filming the video and I gotta say that this build is fairly stable. I didn't come across any showstoppers, major bugs or visual glitches. Everything works exactly as expected which is great. The only problem I'm still facing on Android Canary for a long time is the inability to change my lock screen shortcuts because the, men the menu is still not showing under the wallpaper and the style app and I have this problem for about two or three months now. And if you are wondering about Geekbench 6 scores, I got 4037 for the multi-core and 1755 for the single core, which is about the same as November, but better than all other results I have. 
And when it comes to the GPU, it's actually worse. It's 7,320 down from 7,893 in December. But overall, this build is very stable and I don't see any degradation in the performance. So that's pretty much it for today. These are all the new changes in Android Canary 2601. Please let me know in the comments if I missed anything. But for now, thanks so much for watching and see you in the next video.